Hey guys, it's Charm by China here once again. We're back at it with another video. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install a wig on a client. This video will be detailed and it will be step by step. So make sure you're paying attention. Now I have already braided my client down and oiled her scalp. So now I'm just going over her edges with some edge control. I'm just moving her hair back moving it out the way making sure that no glue gets on her hair we are today installing a wig from charming tresses hair extensions so i will be linking that website in the description below now that we have pushed those edges back and moved them out the way we're just going to go ahead and put the cap on I only use HD caps. They are perfect for wig installs. Here I'm just cutting around her ears and putting the cap around her ears and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the glue in front of her hairline, never on her hair. I'm gonna do this to both sides. Just apply a little bit of glue on the cap in front of her hairline now we're just going to go ahead and take the end of our edge brush and smooth that glue out on top of the cap make sure you do this step very carefully you do not want to get the glue on the hairline okay make sure you smooth it out without getting it on your client's hairline I am very heavy handed on products so you do not have to use as much as I did only a few little bitty dab drops would be just fine you don't have to use as much glue as me Here, I'm just making sure that glue is perfectly blended in, so you will see me go over it to make sure it is blended. After you have applied your glue to the cap, just wait until that glue turns clear. You do not want to cut the cap when the glue is still white. Watch me as I cut my client's cap. This will prevent you having to sew the back of the cap down. Now after you've completed that step, you will just cut the excess cap off. Make sure you're cutting close to your client's skin. Um, you don't want to cut your client's skin, but make sure you're cutting close to the skin. Now applying the glue, you do not need as much glue as I am using. I am very heavy handed when it comes to products, so just make sure you use dabs of glue. I do evenly smooth my glue out, so I will go over it multiple times to show you how to smooth it out. I will also use two to three layers of glue. You do not need more than that. Now do the other side the same exact way. Now 
Make sure the glue is clear before you apply more layers. So I use my blow dryer to help with the glue drying. Now I'm just adding another layer of glue and I'm gonna smooth that out evenly and I'm gonna do this to both sides. Make sure you do get around your client's ears. You want that wig to be laying super flat and neat right by those ears. So make sure you get the sideburn and around the ear a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig to my client's head. This step is very tedious, so please make sure you are paying attention. Where the glue is, you will be able to see the glue under the client's wig. So with that being said, you will just line the wig up where that glue is. Make sure you comb that lace and press the lace into the glue so that it sticks to the wig. I do have my client hold the wig while I continue to do the other side to make sure it is all stretched out and laying super flat. You will be able to see your client's ear behind the lace as it is see-through, so make sure you do not cut your client's ear. When you begin cutting the lace, make sure you are cutting the lace in a zigzag motion. You do not want to cut the lace straight across. Apply glue to the areas that need it.
you do have to let the glue dry in order for the lace to stick so after the glue dries and it's clear you will just press the lace down into the glue And then you would just do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm just going to go ahead and part out my client's baby hair. I do have my client hold the hair so that it is out the way. And now I'm just doing the same exact thing to the other side. Now we're going to use the edge band to lay those baby hairs down. Now the edge band is on, I do go ahead and snap those bands together in the back of the wig. Y'all will see me rub my hands through this hair multiple times. Y'all, I just love this hair. It's so soft. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dry the top of the wig. The reason for that is because when you are using the hot comb to lay that wig flat, you do not want your client's head to be burning. Now we're just gonna go ahead and start hot combing. My client wants a flip over, so we're just gonna go ahead and create that flip over. Now 
Now we're going to go ahead and get into these baby hairs, y'all. This is my favorite part. The reason I use a small flat iron is to curl those baby hairs upward and to give them a curled effect. To lay the baby hair down, I do use Gorilla Snot and I also use Nairobi Foam. It's all in the wrist, guys, so just make sure you're using your wrists to create those baby hairs. On curly wigs, I do like to do a little extra baby hair, like the swirls and the swoops. So I'm just going to demonstrate a swirl here. Now onto the sideburns. When you curl the hair, it just makes the swooping easier, as you can see. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry the baby hair on the cool setting just to go ahead and lock those baby hairs in place. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that same exact thing on the other side. All right, and now that my baby hair is in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot comb through that hair one more time. Y'all, just look at this hair, it's so pretty. Here I'm just putting a little bit of product, a little bit of holding spray in the front to give it that hold, that nice good hold and shine and that flip over look. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray some leave-in conditioner into my client's wig. I'm just going to make sure the wig is fully saturated with the leave-in conditioner. Now I'm going to go in after the leave-in conditioner and spray some water. 
this water does have a concoction of conditioner and water in it now i'm just gonna comb through my client's wig and y'all look at this wig like it is so pretty like look at it look at those curls i will put the website in the description for this hair you can purchase it on the charming tresses website so i will link that below Now I'm just going to go through her hair and make sure everything is perfect. If you want a more detailed video on how I achieve my baby hair technique, I will be posting that soon. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Get into this melt though.